Hello everyone, welcome to the first chapter of class 9 that is number systems. First of all we have natural number which starts with 1. Then we have whole numbers that include 0 along with the natural number. Then we have integers which includes negative numbers also along with the whole numbers. And then we have rational number which means it can be written in the form of p by q where p and q are co prime and q is not equal to 0. Can, can anyone comment what is co prime? So up to this these are all rational numbers and apart from this we have irrational numbers like pi root 2 root 3 which cannot be written in the form of p by q and as a whole these all these numbers are together called as real numbers a real number is a number which can be represented on the number line okay and out of this we have imaginary number which cannot be represented on the number line like negative number inside the root so these are the types of numbers inside the number system now we have studied up to rational numbers in class 8 and now we will be studying about the irrational numbers. Rational means p by q form and irrational cannot be written in the form of p by q. We have two kinds of decimal expansion for rational numbers. Terminating and non-terminating. Irrational numbers are always non-terminating. If the rational number is non-terminating then it will be repeating or recurring. And if irrational then it will be non-terminating, non-terminating, non-repeating. For example this. So another representation is this one, where terminating and non-terminating repeating are rational and non-terminating non-repeating are irrational. Always rem remember this. So now let's start exercise number 1.1. So it is asked that irrational number 0, uh, is 0 a rational number? So answer is yes, of course. So if it is a rational number, we can write it in the form of p by q, right? So what is the p by q form of 0? That is 0 by 1 because p is 0 and q is 1. Next question, we need to find three six rational number in between three and four so as we know the denominators are one in both the case and we need to find six rational number so now we have to multiply with a number which is larger than six okay no, uh, six or more than six so first of all in this question it is given that the denominators are same if the denominators would, uh, would not have been same then we will first equalize the denominator and then do the rest of the process so for now we have the same denominator so we will directly go to the process the process includes a number multiplying with a number which is which makes the difference of the two final outcomes to be more than six because we want six numbers in between them right so we can of course use the use the number 10 as you can see we have difference of more than six here so 10, taking 10, 100, 1000 is the easiest way to do these questions. You don't have to think what should be the number like 7, 8. You don't have to think. Just multiply it up and down. Multiply the denominator and the numerator with 10, 100, 1000 as per the question requirement. So these are the 6 rational numbers in between the 3 and 4. Now question number 3 is exactly same. We have denominator 5 in place of 1. So we will just multiply with 10 uh, on both numerator and denominator. And then we will get 5 rational numbers in between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. So it is exactly same. I will just write the answer. So we can write any of the 5 numbers in between these 2 numbers. Like this. Next question number 4. For uh, We need to state true or false and with reason. Every natural number is a whole number. Yes, of course. It is a, it is a true statement because... 0 is the only whole number which is not a natural number except 0 all the numbers of the set whole number is a natural number okay next question is every integer is a whole number so of course no because minus 1 is an integer which is not a whole number so we will just write the example as the reason and similarly every rational number is a whole number so every whole number is a rational number but every rational number is not a whole number because we have 2 by 3 that is a rational number but it is not a whole number. So that's all for today and some homeworks for you. Stay home, stay safe and keep preparing. Thank you.